There are a lot of 3D computer aided design software to use in your projects these days. Every software has its own features and tools. And today we're going to talk about Rhino and Inventor and see which one is suitable for you when trying to bring your ideas and design projects to life. Rhino 3D is a 3D computer aided modeling software which is commonly used in modeling of complex objects. It enables you to accurately model your designs and make them ready for rendering, animation, analysis, and manufacturing. It is a nerve modeling based software which has control points that can determine the shape of the curves. It can make the process of making complex shapes easier. It focuses on producing precise representations of curves and freeform surfaces. It allows users to create, edit, analyze, and visualize nerves, curves, surfaces, solid bodies, and point clouds. Rhino 3D was built to excel at modeling complex freeform surfaces with excellent continuity of shape. It has many capabilities such as two-dimensional line drawings, three-dimensional construction drawings, rendering with lighting and materials, and creating parts and assemblies. Autodesk Inventor is a CAD 3D software for mechanical design, simulation, visualization, and documentation. It is useful in industrial design and producing accurate mechanical drawings. It can be a faster and reliable tool in manufacturing and production. It includes a building information modeling or BIM exchange tools used to create and publish simplified 3D representations, intelligent connection points, and additional information in native file formats of other software. Users can export 3D geometry to AutoCAD architecture, for example. This means that the use of Inventor has helped users mitigate the need for other software solutions to a certain extent. 3D modeling. Rhino is not a solid modeling tool. Other than that, it allows you to make complex shapes in nerve surface modeling and make a closed surface, also called watertight surface model, and then make a solid out of it if needed. Rhino gives you more control for surface modeling. It also gives you the ability to perform engineering calculations like structural analysis on solid model. On the other hand, Inventor has a unique design system based on creating sketches in XYZ planes. This makes it easier and more efficient to develop or modify a new component based on the drawn sketches, similar to the way you can create a 3D figure based on the isometric drawing. 3D figures are treated as solid parts and not just one big computer drawing. This allows the user to treat every part that can be later added to an assembly or modified as an independent component of a more complex system. Once your prototype is assembled, it will tell the weight of the assembly and the surface area. It will give you the center of gravity of a part or an assembly, just to name few things. Animation, Simulation, and Analysis Rhino includes new tools for analysis with enhancements to help ensure that the 3D models throughout the process are the highest possible quality. The process of analysis takes into consideration points, length, distance, angle, radius, bounding box, normal direction, volume, and much more. When it comes to animation and simulation in Rhino, they are available as third-party plugins and each plugin has its own price and unique features to support the basic features of the software. Inventor includes an integrated motion simulation and assembly stress analysis environment. Users can input driving loads, friction characteristics, and dynamic components, then run dynamic simulation tests to see how a product will work under real-world conditions. The simulation tools can help users optimize strength and weight, identify and reduce unwanted vibrations, and size motors and actuators to reduce energy consumption. Basically, Inventor is very good compared to Rhino in this department. Rendering Presentation is key during nearly every phase of design because you need communication with clients, customers, collaborators, or public at large. Rhino actually has very good tools for adding materials to assemblies that are comprised in many elements and rendering it nicely and in a timely manner. It has a fast interactive ray tracing in the viewport, accelerated on the GPU of modern CUDA and OpenCL graphics cards, which allows you to see results taking place in the viewport in real time without needing to wait for renders. This software comes with a ready-to-use library of materials you can just drag and drop to see the result in the viewport. Rhino even has UV unwrapping tools, so you can control the process of texturing if the model you are working on needs complicated materials or textures. The render engine in Inventor is kind of outdated and the material system is rather inflexible, but overall you can add materials and light to your projects and render it with good enough quality that shows all the necessary details. Rhino is absolutely better than Inventor in this department. Actually, Rhino is one of the best CAD software for texturing and rendering.
2D drafting and design. Every type of physical product design relies on technical illustrations and 2D drawing to consistently communicate ideas, specifications, and instructions to people in design, development, and manufacturing. Rhino makes it easier to create 2D drawings and illustrations for every discipline using annotation objects that include arrows, dots, dimensions, text blocks, leaders, and much more. Inventor offers plenty of tools and documentations when it comes to 2D and drafting and design. It is one of the best software that offers these features. You can make computer-aided designs that go through all the process till the stage when you will manufacture them, and you do not need an interface like the other software to recognize it in the CNC. It enables 2D and 3D data integration in a single environment, virtually representing the final product. It allows users to check the form, fit, and functions of the product before it is built. The application provides a strong parametric, direct edit, and freeform modeling tools, as well as multi-cut translation abilities. Industries that use Rhino and Inventor Rhino is used for quick and flexible modeling, especially for organic models that are curvier like shapes in nature. For example, Rhino assists in shoe performance analysis, applications of leather textures, and more. It has an indispensable role in the evaluation of prototypes with 3D printing, reducing time and cost. Rhino is used in marine, aerospace, and automotive interior and exterior design, in addition to makers of household and office appliances, furniture, medical and support equipments, footwear and jewelry makers use Rhino to create freeform shapes. Inventor can be used in almost all fields of manufacturing, and it is not made for a specific segment. It is parametric and history-based, so it gives designers and engineers more control and allows them to create super accurate designs, especially when modeling. The learning curve. I would say that both Rhino and Inventor are relatively easy to learn and use when working on simple projects. But as things get more complicated and you need to create large and complex assemblies, naturally you will have to acquire more skills and learn techniques to be able to do certain things. As we have seen before, Rhino is nerves based and Inventor is a parametric modeler. So depending on your previous knowledge, you will find one easier than the other. Overall, the way Rhino operates is closer to 3D animation packages, so if you have experience using Blender, 3DS, Max, or Maya, you will find it easier. The user interface. Both software have a friendly interface that makes it easy to work on projects, and they both don't need so much time to get used to. Rhino's interface is command-based, where you can customize a list of keyboard shortcuts and work in a full-screen mode with no tools visible. Rhino 3D has a more intuitive interface than Inventor, everything it is where it is expected to be. Computer requirements and operating systems. Rhino does not run on Mac until the last version, Rhino 6, and it is a very heavy software. On the other hand, Inventor requires a lot of CPU and memory resources too. If your machine doesn't meet and exceed these requirements, you will face some slowdowns or crashes and complications as things get more complex and projects get bigger. Inventor runs on all platforms and it is flexible with other formats similar to Rhino, where they both can read files from other software, which makes it easier to work on customers' models directly, even if they don't use the same program. Pricing and Licensing When it comes to pricing and licensing, Rhino is more friendly to those with a limited budget, because the commercial version costs $995, but if you are still a student, you can pay $195. Inventor requires paying for a subscription on a monthly or yearly basis, and Autodesk offers a 30-day trial for anyone who wants to try it. Compared to the other paid unpopular CAD and CAM software on the market, Inventor is not the most expensive even though it is expensive compared to Rhino, so you have to weigh the pros and cons and choose depending on what you need. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.